I am really excited and it's hard to contain myself. I have goosebumps all over me. And I want to show you one of the most interesting font pens of this year. Welcome, it's your host Amy from Penventure and I have a confession to make. I am struggling to keep secrets regarding font pens. This pen arrived a few days ago and it's a nightmare. I just want to share this video with you and I'm going to show you one of the most epic fountain pens of 2020. This fountain pen is a limited edition exclusive to Penventure done in a collaboration with Leonardo Officina Italiana. I'm really excited and I'm shaking and this is very, very important. It's important because this time we took a different approach on each and every single level of this font pen, design, material, nib, everything. So first of all, we got in contact with someone that I won't share the name and we found a celluloid that hasn't been used in the pen industry till this moment. And we named it Thunder because I had a clear picture in mind that uh, served as inspiration for this name. So the pen is called Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero Grande Thunder Celluloid. It's a pen venture exclusive. And again, it's important because Salvatore from Leonardo Officina Italiana gave me free reign over the design. So I picked some of the best features from different models from Leonardo of Cina Italiana and I've put them into this exclusive model of Penventure. First of all, let's go into the details. I'm going to show you all details. I'm going to use some close-up videos. Then we will go into a size comparison, a writing sample, and we will end the video. Let's start with the presentation box. It is offered in the same usual Leonardo Officina Italiana presentation box with a bottle of ink, purple color. I want to show you the pen. So let's go with the details. We have the finial, and this is your usual Momento Zero Grande finial conic and pointy, very, very well polished. There is no sharp edges. The clip is the usual Leonardo Officina Italiana clip. You have the same clip on the Momento Zero line. We have the beautiful purple material and this celluloid is stunning. The way it captures the light is unbelievable. I would dare to say that this could be a purple Arco, but moving further on the opposite side of the clip we have the limited edition number and that is only 10 pieces. This material is very very uh, low in quantity so I only was able to do 10 pieces. Who knows maybe in the future we'll have something in a different model also using the celluloid. That's it for now. The trims and the cap band configuration is taken from the Cuspid model. This is how they look on the Cuspid. As you probably can see, the cap band on the Cuspid is a little bit larger. On this Momento Zero, I went and shrink this cap band a little bit and it fits very, very well. Trims have rose gold color. The base model for the Momento Zero Grande Thunder was the 2019 Momento Zero Grande meaning that on the cap transitioning to the barrel, we have a step down. On the 2020 model, the cap was flushing in the transition towards the barrel, and I really liked that ridge, so I opted for the 2019 model. Let's uncap the font band and see how many turns over the cap. We have one, a little bit over one complete turn. And this is the nib. I went all out, and this is the first Momento Zero Grande celluloid featuring a size 8 buck nib. I went beyond everything and I was able to put together this setup for everyone. This is a size 8 14 karat gold nib, rose gold plated. It's available in the following sizes, extra fine, fine, medium, broad and a 1.5 stub. We do have limited quantities for the sizes. We have more extra fines and fines, only one medium, one broad and one stop. Ebonite feed, and this is the feed that was in-house made by Leonardo. The section is taken from the Cuspid model, 
in order to accommodate this uh, size 8 nib I went and took the section from the Kuspeed model, which is a little bit thicker in diameter. The diameter for this section is 12 millimeters and for the Momento Zero Grande Normal, 10 millimeters. So we have a little bit more uh, grip, more diameter. The pen feels very, very comfortable and uh, a larger diameter for the section gives a very, very nice and comfortable feel to the overall fundament because being such a large nib, you actually need a slightly larger in diameter section. The shape for the section is pretty basic and this is what I find to work really well. For me, after I tested the Coup Speed, I've enjoyed that section a little bit more than the one on the regular Momento Zero Grande. So it has this uh, part that flares out and prevents the fingers slipping towards the nib. Then we have the section uh, slightly, slightly increasing in diameter towards the thread. The threads are smooth and no matter if you grip the pen like this, much more close to the barrel or if you grip it like this no matter where you put your fingers there is no problem there is no sharp edges then we have a step up and it's marked by this uh, metal ring and the barrel starts the thickest point of the barrel is right here it's slightly tapering in towards the piston knob because this beautiful beautiful purple celluloid is the star of this entire collection. On the barrel, you will find only Leonardo Officina Italiana engraved. We left the material to speak itself. So the name, it's not engraved anywhere else. Also, this material has two sides, so you can admire both sides. One that is much more lighter and shows this uh, beautiful, beautiful swirls and layers in the celluloid. And there is one darker purple part. If you rotate the fountain pen, you will see that they are aligning perfectly. This ring right here marks the end for the barrel. It's the same design and the same pattern like the one on the Coup Speed. I hope the camera picks it up. If not, I'm gonna use some uh, close-up videos. Being that we have a piston knob, this pan is equipped with a piston filling mechanism. To be more precise, the 2020 version from Leonardo, which has a huge, huge ink capacity. And let's recap. So we have the Momento Zero Grande Thunder, which is based on the 2019 Momento Zero Grande. It has the section from the Cuspid, the cap band and trims from the Coup Speed, the piston from the Momento Zero Grande 2020, which is the large ink capacity. We have only 10 pieces available, limited edition, exclusive to Pen Venture, from a celluloid that hasn't been used in the pen industry till this point. Last but not least is the size. It is a little bit bigger than your standard Momento Zero Grande. Because we have a size 8 nib, it's a little bit longer and a little bit thicker. Now let's go into the size comparison and you will see the pen standing side by side with different and uh, well-known models from Leonardo and different brands. Here we go. This is the Momento Zero Grande Thunder standing next to other pen models. From left to right we have ASC Bologna Extra, Leonardo Furore Grande, Visconti Pen Venture Exclusive Homo Sapiens, Leonardo Momento Zero Grande Thunder, Leonardo Momento Zero Grande Desert Rose, Sangiovese by Ciro Matrone, and Leonardo Momento Zero Grande Coffee 2019. The measurements for the Momento Zero Grande Thunder are capped 156 millimeters, uncapped 142 millimeters, the section diameter is 12 millimeters, and the total weight of the fountain pen, capped and inked, is 37 grams, and uncapped is 24.5. Grams. Here we go with the writing sample and we have the pen Leonardo Momento Zero Grande Thunder and the ink is Leonardo Purple. 
If you're not subscribed to their channel, please do so. And we have the nib is 14 karat gold, size eight, extra fine point, at least on my personal fountain pen, the number zero one of 10. And the paper is 52 GSM Tomoy River. And this is my favorite paper. Each nib can be adjusted according to your specification. So if you want something, you just need to let me know. Send me an email and I will adjust the nib according to your specification. And this is a ink flow test. And we have a quite, quite generous ink flow for extra fine nib. And this is adjusted according to my taste in regards of uh, writing experience. And let's see if we have flex. We do have some line variation. I consider this nibs uh, a bit stiffer, but if you press and are very, very sensitive to how much pressure you apply, you can squeeze out some line variation. Now let's see a quick writing of that. Quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. We do have a little bit of feedback, but nothing crazy. The nib is smooth, there is no hard start, no skipping, and the flow is very, very rich. The Ebonite feed has been heat set to this nib, so it's simply amazing. There isn't anything that I could add. This fountain pen speaks for itself. And we have one of a kind celluloid, never been used in the pen industry, only 10 pieces, but there will be only nine lucky persons that own this fountain pen. The 10 person is myself because pretty much everything I do has been involving my passion for writing instruments. So. I couldn't sell them all. I want to keep one for myself. We do have a first time for Leonardo official on a Momento Zero Grande celluloid size eight nib. We have a 2019 model with the features, with the trims taken from the Coup Speed. We have a 2020 piston, a flawless job from Leonardo in regards of working this celluloid to a perfection masterpiece. I will show you a rare picture with all nine pieces that are going to be available on the Penventure website. We have three extra fines, three fines, one medium, one broad and one stub. If you want to have one, down below you will find a link. We launched the font pen today as we speak. Enjoy! Finish 2020 with a bang, just like ourselves. I think this is it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy my content. If you do so, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button on this video. Around 70% of you that are watching are not subscribed to the channel. If you want to support me doing videos like this, subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell on so you will be updated every single time that we have new content on our channel. And if you want to see more quality content from Penventure and myself, click on this video and enjoy this. My name is Emmy, and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, bye bye.